Greetings, my dear friends. You are watching The Unseen, where we explore the most terrifying movies ever made. Today, we are going to watch a newly released action movie, The Freelance. Mason Pettitz, a former U.S. Army Special Forces soldier, suffers from PTSD and guilt after a failed mission to assassinate Paldonian dictator Juan Van Agus. He is injured and medically discharged from the army and settles for a boring job as a lawyer. He hates his work, but he loves his wife Jenny and his daughter Casey, who are his only reasons to live. One day, he is approached by Sebastian Ohl, a former colleague and friend from the army, who offers him a lucrative one-time personal security job. He has to protect Claire Wellington, a disgraced journalist who wants to interview Van Agus in Paldonia. Mason is reluctant, but he agrees to take the job, hoping to find some closure and excitement. Jenny is furious and warns him that he might lose his family if he goes. Mason and Claire arrive in Paldonia and meet Van Agus, who seems friendly and charismatic. However, as they are leaving the palace, they are ambushed by a group of rebels who try to kill Van Agus. Mason fights them off, and the trio escapes into the jungle. Van Agus reveals that the coup is led by his nephew Jorge, who hired Colonel Jan Kohorst, a ruthless mercenary, to overthrow him. Mason tries to ditch Van Agus and take Claire to safety, but they are attacked by more rebels. With Van Agus' help, Mason defeats them, and they reach a village where Van Agus is revered as a hero. Claire manages to film her interview with Van Agus, who answers her questions candidly. Mason feels attracted to Claire, who is brave and smart, but he resists his feelings, remembering his wife and daughter. The next day, Van Agus drops a bombshell, he hired Mason to kill him. Mason is shocked and calls Sebastian, who confirms that Van Agus wants to die as a martyr and spark a revolution. Before Mason can react, Jan and his men storm the village and chase them. Mason and Van Agus escape, but Claire is captured. On their way to the capital, Van Agus explains that he is not the monster that Mason thinks he is. He claims that he was not responsible for killing Mason's comrades in the army, and that he has done some good things for his country. Mason is confused, and wonders if he can trust Van Agus. They decide to trade Van Agus for Claire, and meet Jan at a bridge. Van Agus also reveals that he orchestrated the coup as a propaganda stunt, and that he has a loyal army waiting to support him. During the trade, Van Agus unleashes his army, and a fierce battle ensues. Mason, Van Agus, and Claire run to the palace, where Van Agus confronts Jorge. He tries to persuade him to join him and reform the country, but Jorge is shot by General Martinez, who is in league with him. Jan and his forces arrive at the palace, and a shootout breaks out between them and Van Agus' guards. Mason faces Jan in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, and Jan confesses that he was the one who killed Mason's friends. Claire, who has been recording the whole ordeal, helps Mason to defeat January Sebastian and his team also show up and help to clear the remaining enemies. Sometime later, Claire becomes famous for her footage in Paldonia, which exposes the truth about Van Agus and the coup. Van Agus resigns from his position and announces a democratic transition. Mason returns to his family, who welcome him with open arms. He also receives $5 million from Van Agus as a reward for his service. Mason feels happy and fulfilled, and decides to spend more time with his loved ones.